for the head, we're going to start by using our 3.5 millimeter hook. And we're going to begin doing six single crochet into a magic circle. So take your yarn, wrap it around your fingers, insert your hook, grab your yarn. And if you hold on to that loop, you can let go of the tail and get your fingers all situated here. And then we're going to chain one and do six single crochet into this magic circle. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now you will take your tail here, give that a pull, and that will tighten up your circle. And then place your stitch marker. So at this point, you have six stitches. For round two, we're going to increase in each stitch. So we will be doing two single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So starting in that first stitch, we're going to increase in each one. So there's one, two, and there's your increase. And so we'll do two single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And when you are finished with this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. And there we go. There should be 12 stitches all together. And then you'll move your stitch marker. For round three, we're going to do an increase followed by one single crochet. So beginning in that first stitch, we'll do our increase, which is two into that same stitch followed by one single crochet in the next stitch. And you'll do that all the way around. Increase, and one single crochet in the next stitch. Increase, and one single crochet in the following stitch. And you'll continue this all the way to the end of the round. And when you're finished, you should have a total of 18 stitches. For round four, we're going to begin in this first stitch and we're going to do one increase and follow that with two single crochets. So there's our increase and then we'll do one single crochet in the next two stitches. There's one and two. And then we do our increase. And then one and two. Increase. And one and two. And you'll continue to do this all the way to the end of the round, at which point you should have a total of 24 stitches. For round five, your repeating sequence will be one increase, followed by three single crochet. So there's one, two, and three. Then we'll do an increase. And three single crochet. One, two, and three. Increase. And 
one, two, and three. Then you'll continue to do that all the way to the end of your round, by which point you should have a total of 30 stitches. For round six, your repeating sequence will be increase in that first stitch, followed by two single crochet. There's one and two. And then you'll continue to repeat that. So the next one gets an increase, followed by two. So there's one and two. Increase. And then one and two. And you'll continue to repeat that all the way to the end of your round, at which point you should have a total of 40 stitches. For round seven, the repeating sequence will be one increase, followed by four single crochet. There's one, two, three, and four. And then we'll repeat with an increase, followed by four single crochet. There's one, two, three, and four. And you'll continue to repeat this all the way around to the end of your round, at which point you should have a total of 48 stitches. For round eight, we're going to do a repeating sequence of one increase, followed by five single crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And then you'll repeat that all the way around. So the next one will get an increase and then five single crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. And you'll continue to repeat that all the way around. One increase followed by five single crochet. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 56 stitches. For round nine, your repeating sequence will be one increase, followed by six single crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you'll continue to repeat that. So increase, and then six single crochet. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And you'll repeat that all the way around to the end of your round, at which point you should have a total of 64 stitches. Before we begin round 10, now is a good time to turn your work over. Make sure you've got that tail pulled nice and tight and go ahead and weave in that end it'll be difficult to do later on. So we'll just use a yarn needle and then just work it through a couple of the stitches. This yarn needle's a little bit too big for this. There we go. So work it through some of the stitches, cut the excess, and you are good to go on that. 
fix the stitch marker. And we're ready to begin round 10. For rounds 10 through 20, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch. So there's no increases in these next rounds. It's just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around for rounds 10 through 20. And when you're done, you should still have 64 stitches. And here I have finished rounds 10 through 20. The head is starting to take shape. Looks like a nice little bowl right now. And we will start our decreasing rounds. So for round 21, we'll begin with a decrease. So insert your hook into that first stitch. Bring up your loop. Keep that loop on the hook. Insert into the next stitch. Bring up your loop. Grab your yarn and go through all three loops. And that is your decrease. And now we will do six single crochet. So here's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And that is your sequence. So we will repeat that starting with our decrease. followed by six single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And you'll continue to repeat that. One decrease followed by six single crochet all the way to the end of your round and at the end of this round you should have a total of 56 stitches. For round 22 we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and once you have finished round 22 you should still have 56 stitches. And here we're ready to begin round 23. For your repeating sequence on this round, it will begin with a decrease, followed by five single crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And that is your repeating sequence. So you'll start again with one decrease and five single crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. And you'll continue that all the way to the end of the round, at which point you should have 48 stitches. For round 24, you will be just doing one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you will still have 48 stitches. So just one single crochet in each stitch. For round 25, we will be starting with a decrease, followed by four single crochet. There's one, two, three, and four. And that will be your repeating sequence. So we'll do another decrease, followed by four single crochet. One, two, three, and four. And you'll continue to repeat that all the way to the end of your round, at which point you should have 40 stitches. 
For round 26, we're going to start with four single crochet. And there's one, two, three, and four. And now we're going to do a decrease followed by eight single crochet and we'll do that three times. So we've done our first four stitches and now we're going to do a decrease followed by eight single crochet. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we're going to repeat that again. So do another decrease, followed by eight single crochet. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to do that one more time. So decrease, followed by eight single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that's the third time we've done the decrease followed by eight. And so now we're going to do a decrease and finish our round with four single crochet. So there's one, two, three, and four. And at the end of this round, you should have 36 stitches. For round 27, we're going to do a repeating sequence of one decrease, followed by four single crochet. One, two, three, and four. And that's going to be your repeating sequence all the way around. So decrease, and then four single crochet. One, two, three, and four. And you'll continue to do that all the way to the end of the round, at which point you should have a total of 30 stitches. For round 28, our repeating sequence will be one decrease, followed by three single crochet. There's one, two, and three. And then you'll continue to repeat that all the way around. So decrease. And three single crochet. One, two, and three. Once you've reached the end of your round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. Before starting round 29, you're going to want to go ahead and start stuffing the head of the lovey and get it pretty full so it's firm but not so full that it's stretching out your stitches and then we'll add some more stuffing before we close it up so for round 29 your repeating sequence will be one decrease followed by 
two single crochet. There's one and two. So you'll do your decrease. And then two single crochet. And you'll continue to do this all the way around. Once you've eat, reached the end of your round, you should have a total of 18 stitches. Before starting round 30, go ahead and put the rest of your stuffing in here. And then you will be ready to start. Round 30, the repeating sequence, will be one decrease. And then it's going to be a little awkward. You know, just kind of pinch it together a little bit so you're not stretching your stitches out too much. So do the one decrease, followed by one single crochet. And that will be your repeating sequence. So one decrease followed by one single crochet. And you'll continue this all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. For round 31, we're going to go ahead and finish closing up this hole. I've removed the stitch marker because we'll just keep going around until it's completely closed. And you're just going to decrease all the way around until your hole is closed. So just decrease oops, all the way until you can't decrease anymore. I think I could do a couple more. See, I think one more decrease, about as far as I can go. And then we'll just go ahead and go all the way through, pull your yarn through, and then tie off. Just like that. And we're not leaving a long tail because we're going to be using the tail from the base to attach it to the head. So once you've got that tied off, you can take your yarn needle here and just weave in that end a little bit. And then go ahead and hide that tail inside the head. Pull it all the way through. And then you cut it off. And there we go. There is the head to our lovey. For the eyes of the lovey, we're going to use our black yarn, the 3.5 millimeter hook, and we'll start with a magic circle. So wrap it around your fingers, grab your yarn, let go of the tail, and grab that working yarn. And we're just going to do six single crochet. So we'll do chain one to secure the yarn, and then do six single crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And that is it for the eyes. I'm going to grab that tail, give it a pull. And we don't have to worry about a stitch marker 
because that's the only round we're going to do. So six single crochet into the magic circle. We're going to go ahead and slip stitch into that first single crochet so we can tie off. And then cut your yarn. Leave a long enough tail so you can sew it to the head of the lovey. So this will be the piece that we use for sewing. And then we just take this beginning tail here and weave it in a little bit just to secure it. And just weave that through a few stitches. Make sure it's pulled tight. Cut off the excess. And there you have it. You're going to make two of these for your lovey. So make two of the eyes. For the muzzle of the cow lovey, we're going to start by chaining nine. So make your slip knot. And we're going to do nine chain. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm going to go ahead and put my stitch marker around that last stitch there. And for round one, we're going to go to the second chain from the hook. And we're going to do one increase. So there's one increase. Followed by six single crochet. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. In this last stitch here, we're going to do three single crochet. So there's one, two, and three. And then we're going to continue to work along the other side of that chain. So we were working on it this way. And then as we were doing our three single crochet here, we start to turn it. And now we're going to do seven single crochet on the other side here. So here's one, two, three, Four, five, six, and seven. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of eighteen stitches. For round two, we're going to do a repeating sequence of one increase. So go into that first stitch there. Do your increase. Followed by two single crochet. There's one, two. And you'll continue to repeat that all the way around until you reach your stitch marker. So increase And then two single crochet. One and two. And once you're done with this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. For round three of the muzzle, we're going to do a repeating sequence of one increase. 
followed by three single crochet. There's one, two, and whoops, and three. And you'll repeat this all the way around so the next stitch gets the increase. And follow that with three single crochet. One, two, and three. And once you've reached the end of this round, you should have a total of 30 stitches. For rounds four through seven of the muzzle, you're going to do one single crochet in each stitch. So there's no increases in this in these rounds. So round four through seven is just the one single crochet all the way around. And once you've reached the end of this round of round seven, you should have a total of 30 stitches. For round eight, we're going to do a repeating sequence of one decrease, followed by three single crochet. There's one, two, and three. So one decrease, And then three single crochet. There's one, two, and three. And once you've reached the end of this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. Once you've come to the end of round eight, you're going to remove your stitch marker and then just do a couple of slip stitches to finish it off and we'll tie it off. Make sure you leave a long enough tail for sewing it to the head of the lovey. And then you can weave in this little tail here and then use this long tail for adding it or sewing it onto the lovey. We're going to start working on the horns for our lovey, and I'll be using the 3.5 millimeter hook for this part as, again. And we're going to make two of these. So start with a magic circle. And we're going to put six single crochet into that magic circle. So we'll chain one to secure the yarn and then do six single crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're going to drop the working yarn and grab that tail, give it a pull so it'll close up the circle. Put the stitch marker on and that is round one. Round two is one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So we'll start in that first stitch and do one single crochet in each stitch. And at the end of this round, you will still have six single crochet. And six. For round three, we're going to do a repeating sequence of one increase, followed by one single crochet. 
and you'll repeat this all the way around. So one increase, and then one single crochet. And once you've reached the end of this round, you should have a total of nine stitches. For rounds four through eight, we're going to do a repeating sequence beginning with two single crochet. So there's one and two. Then we're going to do five half double crochet. So yarn over, insert into the next stitch, bring up your loop, and then go through all three of the loops on your yarn. So we're going to do five of those. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And then we will finish our round with two single crochet. And you'll repeat this for rounds four through eight. And at the end of round eight, you should still have nine stitches. Once you've reached the end of round eight, you're going to remove your stitch marker, do a slip stitch into that following stitch, and tie off making sure that you leave a long enough tail for sewing it onto the lovey's head. And you're going to want to make two of these out of a tan colored yarn. For the ears, we're going to use our white yarn, a 3.5 millimeter hook, and we will start by doing six single crochet into a magic circle. So you'll chain one to secure your yarn and then do your single crochets. So here's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we'll take that tail, give it a pull, and put your stitch marker on so you know where the end of each round was. For round two, we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So just one single crochet. And at the end of this round, you should still have six stitches. For round three, we're going to do a repeating sequence of one increase, followed by one single crochet. So the next one will get the increase, and then one single crochet. And once you're done with this round, you should have a total of nine stitches. For round four, our repeating sequence will be one increase, followed by two single crochet. There's one and two. And then you'll repeat that one increase. followed by two single crochet. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. For round five, our repeating sequence will be one increase, followed by three single crochet. Here's one, two, and three. 
and you'll continue to repeat that all the way around. So the next one will get the increase, followed by three single crochet, one, two, and three. And once you've reached the end of your round, you should have a total of 15 stitches. For rounds six through nine, we'll be doing one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you have completed round nine, you should still have a total of 15 stitches. So here I have finished round nine, and for round 10, we're going to start doing a decrease. So we're going to decrease in this first two stitches. So there's one decrease, followed by three single crochet. So one, two, and three. And you know, that will be your repeating sequence. So next we'll do one decrease and then three single crochet. And you'll continue this all the way around. And once you've finished the round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. For round 11, you're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you have completed this round, you should still have a total of 12 stitches. For round 12, our repeating sequence will be one decrease, followed by two single crochet. There's one and two. And you'll continue this all the way around so the next one gets the decrease, followed by two single crochet. And once you've completed this round, you should have a total of nine stitches. For round 13, we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you have finished this round, you should still have a total of nine stitches. For round 14, your repeating sequence will be one decrease, followed by one single crochet. And you'll continue this all the way around one decrease, followed by one single crochet, and then a decrease, and one single crochet. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of six stitches, and that is the end of the ear. So we're going to remove that stitch marker, do a slip stitch into the next stitch, tie it off. Make sure that you leave a long enough tail for sewing it onto the head. And then you're going to want to have two of these. And there is the ear. For the spots on the cow, we're going to use the 3.5 millimeter hook and our black yarn. And you're going to want to make two of these. So we'll start with our magic circle. Do a chain one to secure your yarn. And then put six single crochet into that circle. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. 
and then we'll take this tail and pull to close up the circle and place your stitch marker and that is round one for round two we're going to do an increase in each of the stitches so each stitch will get two single crochet and that makes the increase and so you'll just increase all the way around and at the end of this round you should have a total of 12 stitches for round three our repeating sequence will be one increase followed by one single crochet and you'll repeat that all the way around so one increase followed by one single crochet and at the end of this round you should have a total of 18 stitches for round four our repeating sequence will be one increase followed by two single crochet there's one and two and you'll continue to repeat that all the way around one increase and then two single crochet and at the end of this round you should have a total of 24 stitches there's one and two and then we increase one and two and then increase one and two and that will finish the spot for the cow so we'll remove our stitch marker do a slip stitch into that next stitch tie it off and make sure you leave a long enough tail for sewing it onto the head and you're going to want to make two of these make sure you weave in that shorter tail and there is the spots For the base of the lovey, we're going to be using a 6.5 millimeter hook and begin with our white yarn. You want to make sure you leave a nice long tail because you're going to be using that to stitch the base to the head. So we'll start with a magic circle. We're going to chain one, do one single crochet, followed by chain two. So there's one and two. Now we're going to do a triple crochet, so yarn over two times, bring up your loop, pull through two, and then you're going to connect this one to that one. So we're going to pull through all three of those loops. And that creates a two triple crochet cluster. And we're going to start our repeating sequence now. Chain three, two, three, yarn over two times insert your hook bring up your loop pull through two pull through two and you're going to leave these two loops on the hook to do the second half of your triple crochet cluster so yarn over two times bring up your loop pull through two pull through two and now you'll go through all three loops and there's your two triple crochet cluster. And you're going to continue to repeat this until you have 12 clusters all together. So I'll show you one more time. Chain three, yarn over two times, insert your hook, bring up the loop, pull through two, pull through two, leave these two loops on the hook, yarn over two times, insert your hook, 
bring up the loop, pull through two, pull through two, and then pull through all three. And that's your repeating sequence. And you'll continue to do that until you have 12 of these clusters. And here I'm coming to the end of this round. I have 12 clusters all together. And so now I'm going to grab that tail that we left and give it a pull. So it'll close up this hole. And then you'll finish your round by slip stitching into the top of that beginning chain that you did. And there is round one. For round two, you're going to start by inserting your hook into this chain space here. Do one single crochet, followed by two chains. And now we'll do a two double crochet cluster. So yarn over, insert your hook, bring up the loop, grab your yarn, pull through the first two loops, leave these two on the hook, yarn over, insert your hook, bring up your loop, pull through two, and then pull through all three. And now we'll start our repeating sequence. So we're going to chain four. And then we'll be working in this next chain space. And we're going to do a three double crochet cluster. So yarn over, insert your hook, bring up the loop, pull through the first two yarn over, insert your hook, bring up the loop, pull through two. We're going to do that one more time. Yarn over, insert your hook, bring up the loop, pull through two, and now you'll grab your yarn and pull through all four of the loops that are on your hook. And that makes your three double crochet cluster. And you will be repeating this in each of the chain spaces all the way around. So we'll chain four, one, two, three, four, and then do our three double crochet cluster. Yarn over, insert into the next chain space, pull through those first two, that gives you two loops on the hook, yarn over, grab your yarn, pull through two, that gives you three, hook, three loops on the hook, yarn over, bring up your yarn, pull through two, and then you'll finish your cluster by yarn over and pull through all four of those loops. And you'll continue to repeat that all the way around. So chain four and then do your three double crochet cluster. And you'll do that until you reach the end of this round. And here I'm coming to the end of round two. I just finished my final cluster. And now it's time to chain four and to finish the round, we're going to slip stitch into this top chain here. And do not tie off because you're going to go straight into round three. For round three, we're going to start by inserting the hook into the next chain space. Do one single crochet followed by chain one. Now we're going to do four double crochets into that same chain space. So yarn over once, bring up your loop, pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over, that's three and Four. This beginning chain counts as one, so that gives you a total of five. Moving on will be your repeating sequence. In each chain space, you're going to do five double crochets. There's two, three, four and five. 
and there's no chain between cluster between the groupings so you'll just move directly into the next chain space and do five double crochet and you will continue to do this all the way to the end of your round when you've reached the end of your round after you've completed that final five double crochets there we're going to slip stitch right into the top of that beginning chain And now we're ready for the next round. For round four, we're going to start by doing three slip stitches. So insert into that next stitch. There's one, two, and three. And that brings us to the space between the groupings. And you're going to insert the hook do one single crochet, chain three. One, two, three. Moving to the next space between the groupings, we're going to start doing our first corner. So we're going to do three triple crochets. So yarn over two times, insert your hook, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Pull through two. You're going to do three of those. So yarn over two times, insert your hook, bring up the loop, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. That's two triple crochets. So we'll do one more. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, three. And in that same space, you're going to do three more triple crochets. So yarn over two times. There's one, two, and three. Now for the sides of our base, you're going to chain two, one, two, move to this next space and do two double crochet chain two, move to the next space, and do two more double crochet, chain two, and we're ready for another corner. So for the next corner, you're going to do three triple crochet, There's one, two, and three. Now we'll chain three, one, two, three. And in that same space, do three more triple crochet. There's one. And you'll continue to repeat that for the remainder of this round. So we just did our corner here. So these, so you will chain two, do two double crochet, chain two, move to the next one, two double crochet, chain two, and then the next one will get your corner piece, which is three triple crochet, chain three, and three triple crochet. And you'll continue that until you've reached the end of the round. To finish round four, after you've done your last corner, you'll do your two double crochets there, chain two, and you'll come to this space that you started out in. We're going to do a double crochet and then slip stitch to the top of that beginning chain.
and that will finish round four. Before moving on to round five, we're going to go ahead and tie off, cut your yarn, And then we're going to continue with the white, but we're going to move over to the corner. So you'll insert your hook into that corner, attach your yarn with a chain. Now we're going to do a single crochet and chain two, do one double crochet, chain two, and then in that same corner space, we're going to do three double crochet. One, two, and three. And that will be your beginning corner. For the spaces between the corners for rounds five through 10, we're going to chain one here and then do three double crochet in the chain spaces between the corners. So there's one, two, and three. Chain one, moving to the next space, you're going to do three double crochet one, two, and three. Chain one, and then I've got one more space before I get to the corner. So we'll do three double crochet. One, two, and three chain one and then for your corners for rounds five through ten you're going to do three double crochet one two and three chain two one two and then in that same corner space you'll do three more double crochet one two, and three. And so that will be your repeating sequence all the way around. So now we'll do the, in the chain spaces between the corners, we'll do chain one, three double crochet, one, two, and three, and then chain one. So for each chain space between the corners, you'll do three double crochet and a chain one. When you get to your corner space, you'll do three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, then you'll chain one and continue. To finish off each round from five through 10, after you've done that final three double crochets in the chain spaces between the corners, you'll get to the corner. You're going to do a double crochet into that beginning corner. Slip stitch to the top of that beginning chain. And then to move on to begin your next round, you will single crochet 
into that corner space and repeat from the beginning for rounds five through 10. Once you have finished round 10, you're going to tie off and cut your yarn. Don't forget to weave in the ends. And then we're going to move to the next corner and in that space of the corner, insert your hook and attach the black yarn. And in that chain space, we're going to do a single crochet, chain two, do one double crochet in that same space, chain two, and then do three double crochet in that same space again. So there's one, two, and three, and I will chain one. And that's your beginning corner. For the spaces between the corners, we're going to do three double crochet. So there's one, two, three, and chain one. And that'll be for each space between the corners. So moving to the next space, we've got one, two, three, chain one, move to the next one, do our three double crochet, chain one, and then you'll just keep doing this all the way till you reach the next corner. So three double crochet, chain one, three more double crochet, chain one, move to the next one. Chain one, and I've almost come to the next corner here. One last space here, so three double crochet. Chain one, and now we've come to our corner. For each of the remaining corners, you're going to do three double crochet in that space of the corner, chain two, and then three more double crochet in that same corner space. And you'll do this for the remaining corners. So each corner gets three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, chain one. And then for the spaces, each chain space between the corners gets three double crochet and a chain one. And you'll continue to do this all the way to the end of the round. And here I'm coming up to the end of round 11. I just finished my three double crochets and chain one and I'm coming back to the corner that I started in. So we're going to do one double crochet in that beginning corner space. And then slip stitch to the top of that beginning chain. And then you will tie off, weave in your ends. And that is the base to the lovey.
Now that we have all the parts to the lovey made, we're going to start assembling it. You're going to need your yarn needle and a pair of scissors. And we're going to take the top of the head where we tied off and we're going to use that as the bottom of the head. So we're going to line up where we tied off the head and we're going to take the base of our lovey and line up the center of the lovey with the base, the center point of the head. And you'll hold that in place and you're going to weave your yarn around the stitches and the base to secure the base to the head. So we'll just pick a spot and we're going to try to follow one circle all the way around so it'll be even all the way around. And so we'll just go through one of the stitches, pull that tight, and then each one of these clusters, you're going to go between each of these clusters. So pull that through. And we're working in this direction. So we just came up through here. And we're going to come through, go over this next cluster, and through the next stitch there. And come up. And you want to make sure that your yarn is kind of staying close to the center there. And then we'll just move to this next cluster, go over that cluster, and come down here through the next stitch, and pull it tight. And you'll just continue to do this all the way around making sure that your clusters are evenly spaced. So we're going to go over this next cluster, under the next stitch, and pull it tight. And you'll keep doing that all the way around and then tie off. And here I'm coming to the end of the round. This was the first cluster here that we stitched on. I'm going to go over this last cluster, go through this a stitch from the head, and pull that nice and tight. And then I'm just going to go under that stitch one more time so we can tie it off. And then before cutting the yarn, we want to make sure that we've got this on nice and even all the way around. And then I'm going to take my needle and push, push it into the head so we can hide the end of the yarn inside the head. So we'll just go through a few times and that way it's also catching that filling inside so it won't pull back out really easily. And once you've done that a few times, take your scissors, trim it off, and then you can use the needle to fluff it back out in any spaces that got pulled in. And there we go. The head of the lovey is now attached to the base. And now we'll start assembling the face of the cow. And I'm going to line it up so the front of the face lines up with one of the corners. But you can line it up however you would like. So we're going to start with the muzzle. I've put some stuffing in here and we can add more later before we finish closing it up if we need to. Thread your yarn needle and we're going to line it up kind of towards the bottom of it because we want room for the eyes to fit in here. So we're just going to line it up just like that and you'll just hold it in place 
and work your way all the way around. So we're going to line this up with one of the stitches here from the head, go under that stitch that's on the head, pull it tight, and then we're going to come up through one of the stitches that's on the muzzle. Just like that. And you want to make sure you're keeping your muzzle straight while you're doing this. And we'll come down to this next stitch and do the same thing. We'll go under the stitch and then just go through the stitch on the muzzle. Pull that through. And then you'll just keep doing that all the way around. So we'll go under the next stitch, come up, go under one of the stitches from the muzzle, and pull through. And then you want to make sure you keep it all lined up straight while you're doing it. And you'll just continue to do that until you've reached the end. And here I'm coming to the end of stitching the muzzle. I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit more stuffing before I completely close it up. So you can just leave yourself a small space there. Make sure you don't tuck your yarn in while you're doing that. And then you can just get this to the shape you want. And then finish stitching it up. So I've only just got a couple more stitches to go. So I'll go under the stitch and then under that stitch and then just two more stitches and then we'll do this last stitch here and then to tie it off we'll just go back under that stitch And then before cutting off the yarn, you take your yarn needle and poke it through. That way you can hide the tail inside the head. Just poke it through a couple of times just to make sure it's going to stay secure. And you'll cut it off. And then just use your needle to kind of pull just like that. And there is the muzzle to the cow. And now we're ready to attach the eyes. I've already placed one on here. I tried to line it up with the edge of the muzzle. And for the second eye, I want to make sure that I'm following the same line that the top of the previous eye was on. And I'll just line that up to where it looks about right to me. So we've got a little bit of space between the eyes, but you want to make sure that top of the second eye is the same spot as the first eye. And then we'll just do the same thing we did with the muzzle. We're going to go under, under one of the stitches that's in the head. And then come up through one of the stitches that's on the eye. And you'll just do this all the way around. And again, you want to line, just like we did with the top of the eye, we want to line the bottom of the eye lined up with the same line that the other eye landed on. So we'll just move to this next stitch, come up through there. Go through one of the stitches in the eye and then just work our way all the way around, lining it up with this one here. Go through one of the stitches in the eye. And 
then once you've gone all the way around, we'll put this last stitch in here. Go through that final stitch. Try to keep it as round as possible. And then we're just gonna go to tie off. We'll just go back under that same stitch that we just did. Tie off. And then before cutting the yarn, we'll take our needle and tuck the tail in. Go through all the way through the head a little bit so it'll stay put. And then you can poof that back out and give it a snip. And once you fluff it out, it disappears into the head. So there are the eyes. Now we're ready to attach the horns. So you can see I've already got the first one attached and I lined it up pretty close to where the eye was, just a little off. And we moved it forward. So here's the center. We want to go in front of the center because the ears will come back here. And you want to put it in place to where that curve is curving towards the front. And so we've got just enough stuffing in there for it to hold its shape. And we're gonna go ahead and line up this second one here. About like that, so they're about even with the same spacing as the eyes. And it'll be in front of that center piece there. And we'll do the same thing for attaching we're gonna go under the stitch in the head and then up through one of the stitches on the horn and get that started. And while you're attaching this, make sure that it's still, the curve is going towards the front of the face. And so you'll just move to your next stitch, come up under the stitch, through the stitch on the horn And you'll just continue to do that all the way around. And here I'm coming to the last stitch and we'll give that a pull. Make sure everything's lined up just right. And then just tie off and then hide your tail inside the head. And just take it and poke it through. And that'll keep that tail hidden, just like that. And there we have the horns. Now that we have the horns attached, we're ready to attach the ears. And I've already put on one of the ears. I've got it placed just behind that horn just at the side of it, but back behind it. So that way the horn's towards the front. And we don't stuff the ears. You'll just flatten it out so it has that little dip there. I don't know if you can see, and a little bit of a curve. So go ahead and thread your yarn needle. And we'll get this placed just behind that horn, we want them to kind of stick out kind of towards the side a little bit. So for these, I just kind of lay the ear down a little bit, kind of behind the horn there, and we'll just start stitching. So go under one of the stitches from the head, pull it through, and go through a stitch in the ear, and pull it through. And you want to make sure it's kind of going at an angle a little bit. So then we'll go to this next stitch here and come up through the ear and do one more for the back here. And then we're going to take that ear kind of stand it up 
a little bit so that way we can stitch the front of it down. We're gonna come through one of these stitches here. And then I like to just come up and go through one of these stitches in the next row up, so not the very bottom. And that'll kind of pull the ear down a little bit. Make sure I've got that situated the way I want it. And then you'll just do the same thing at the front. So we'll go through stitch in the head and then up here through the stitch in the ear. Give that a pull. Got one more here. And there we go. And then we're ready to tie it off. So we'll come down here, go through one of these stitches back where we started. And then go ahead and tie off. Got my tail stuck. There we go. And we'll just tie it off. And then just poke that needle through the head so you can hide the tail inside the head. There we go. I didn't want to go through the stuffing. And cut your yarn, and then you can use your needle to fluff that back out. And there are the ears. And now we're ready to attach the spots to the cow. So we've made two of them. I went ahead and I put the first one kind of towards the back of the head there. And you can kind of place them wherever you would like. For this next one, I'm gonna kind of put it right here towards the front. So you can kind of see it from the front. And so you'll just thread your yarn needle and you'll put this on just like all the other ones, go through a stitch in the head and then through a stitch in the spot and then you'll just keep doing that all the way around and if it comes out not perfectly circled that's fine so you'll just continue to do that all the way around and here I've got that last stitch in. I tied it off, poked my needle through the head so we can hide the tail. Go ahead and cut that off. And then that is our cow lovey right there with these little spots and his horns. Kind of flop these ears a little bit. And there we go. And there it is, our cow lovey is finished and ready for a little one to play with.